So we're out here in the garden just giving a quick update. We've got uh, this trellis built, as you can see right here, that is going to be utilized for our passion fruit. We're going to have our passion fruit start on this, and then uh, we're going to train it in and out. Uh, you can see the, the mesh on there, well, kind of. You can see how we, uh, we wired in the mesh there. This is an update on the sorrel. And the sorrel, of course, is the, uh, is the flower, basically, that we are growing. These come out with a very beautiful flower on them. And then you take the seeds out so you can, of course, reproduce more of the sorrel. But then you take that flower and you, um, you drain it and you strain it into... Uh, and you make a juice out of it for Christmas. And as you can see, these things are really getting a good growth on them. They, they can grow up to be pretty pretty tall. We'll continue to uh, to update on these and, and their growth. There's that mesh on the fence. You can see it a little bit better there. I'm going to take you up and show you the sweet potatoes that Arlene has been cultivating. That's the last one of our sorrel. We had to do a lot of cutting. It's been raining a little bit, so uh, we've had a lot of growth here in the uh, on our side banks. Here is that sweet potato, and it has just absolutely taken off. There's about three starts in this one area that have just absolutely taken off. Um, looking really good. It's got good vines growing. A lot of different directions so uh, we continue to mound it up and continue to to utilize that just waiting for it to mature here are our compost bins today that uh, Arlene has just turned these bins and uh, mixed up the compost so those are all real fresh right now but what I really wanted to show you was the back side of the green beans now look at all the green beans growing here these have really done amazing on the back side of this trellis we've got four plants going right now and we have recently in the past video you've seen um, we've planted four more two of those did not make it but two of those are doing really well and you can see right down here here they are there's one there's two we're getting ready for those to to take off and start up this trellis right here that we've created. We also have a little, there's a little shade on it right now, but here is our jalapeno getting real big, doing real well. Our chives, oh my goodness, our chives are absolutely have just blown up. We've got a lot of starts here that, uh, that we'll be actually giving away. We've got passion fruit up here in, in your top right, and then two tomato plants. There's some more tomato plants here. Some, just a mixture of passion fruit and tomato throughout all these, these starts here. The mint, still doing amazing. Big leaf time, small leaf time. There's our rosemary. Got our celery here. And we've got parsley, but parsley's not not doing very well, I don't feel. Um, we you, we cut the basil. This basil is just awesome. And uh, Arlene made an amazing pesto out of this. That was it'll just blow your mind. So the basil is doing really well. This has got a lot of new growth and new generation going on. Here's our dill, and you can see the dill is just everywhere. So it's a pretty peculiar plant and how it grows and where it grows, it's working really well. Back here are the tomatoes. You can see we've got tomatoes coming on. So they are doing really well. Arlene utilizes a self-pollination method where she uses a paintbrush and actually paints each flower in order for it to pollinate and currently they're 
all these tomatoes, since they're doing so well, are dwarfing our little sweet peppers back here, our bell pepper plants. We've got two of those back here that are getting kind of overran by that, by the tomato plants. But take a look at this. Here is our corn. Our corn is going crazy. We've got a lot of husks starting to form here. Um, and uh, of course, how these things pollinate is the the tops here, what you're looking at, they will actually, in the wind, they will come down and they must land on these hairs of the corn itself in order to pollinate. And that's how the kernels get formed. Every time a little bit of this pollen here falls on these hairs, that's how that's how kernels produce. So it is a really cool process and you can you can do that by hand. You can hand pollinate um, or you can just let God do his work and uh, and pollinate for us. So that's kind of what we're doing. I want to show you these these hot pepper. These are scotch bonnet. And if you look really close in here, you can see they are starting to form. So we've got a lot of peppers coming on on a few of these different plants here. Try to show you. And the jalapeno back here in the corner. So everything's doing good. Just wanted to give you a, a nice update on our little kitchen garden. Can't wait to start harvesting. So thanks for joining us. Oh, almost forgot. Broccoli getting big. Just the two plants in this little planter. But it's it's doing great, growing really nicely. So we'll update you again shortly. Thanks for joining us.